Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 7 of A Better Self. We are nearing the end of this mini video series and I'm kind of sad. It feels a little bittersweet but I'm excited for these last two episodes, this one and next week's. And if you've been watching this series, thank you for watching and coming along this journey with me. So for this week, there's something that I'm not really good about doing and that's cleaning. I always make sure to wash my dishes after I finish cooking, after I finish eating, but I'm not good at cleaning the bathroom. And so for this week, I cleaned the bathroom sink, cleaned the, the sink countertop, the toilet. I also cleaned my makeup brushes because I have not cleaned them for a month. I should be cleaning these things more regularly, this week, I told myself that I needed to clean all these things around the house. Yeah, nothing too exciting for this week. And so let's move on to today's recipe. Welcome to episode 7, Miso Kachioi Pepe. You know how um, I had that mukbang where I tried three different flavors of the Momofuku noodles? I was looking through their website, just exploring, and I thought that they had recipes. This recipe caught my eye. It just sounded very interesting. That was Kelvin. <laughs> so I've never eaten or made cacio y pepe. I know for today's recipe, we're gonna make it with miso. The cheese that's normally in cacio y pepe is being swapped out for miso to give the dish a more umami flavor, which I'm quoting from the Momofuku website. <laughs> and reading the recipe and looking at the ingredients, it seems very simple. So, yes, also it's a very good way for me to use the noodles that I bought because I have a shit ton of noodles after that mukbang. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here are our ingredients. You're going to need olive oil, butter, make sure it's unsalted, miso. Technically, the recipe calls for white miso but I'm just gonna use this one that I have in the fridge. One pack of Momofuku soy and scallion noodles and black pepper. So first we're going to melt the butter and olive oil in a pan over medium heat. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Got some olive oil in here and now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter to the pan. Okay, let's turn on the heat. And we're just gonna melt it, but the recipe says be careful not to let the butter brown. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of miso. Now let's stir in the miso. Also, the recipe says it's okay if the miso is a little bit chunky. Okay, let's add one and a half cups of water. Okay, now it says to turn up the heat to high. It says, break up the miso with the back of your spoon and swirl until the mixture is homogenous. Now we're going to add the sauce packet. Let's mix it all together. You won't need the scallions from the noodle pack, so you can save that for another time. It smells good. Here's what it looks like right now. Now that it's boiling, we're going to add the noodles. Ooh. So it says for a minute one of cooking the noodles, put them in the center and cook for undisturbed for one minute. So we're going to do that right now. Here's what it looks like. Minute two. Carefully flip the noodles and let them cook for another minute. Let's flip the noodles. I kind of flipped it. We forgot to add the black pepper. 
one tablespoon of black pepper. Okay, I'm just gonna keep mixing the noodles. I think I passed minute three, but it says for minute three, fully separate your noodles and stir them as they cook to keep them from sticking. Stir in your pepper. I should have read that before I panicked and added the pepper. Now it says for minute four, constantly stir as the sauce starts to emulsify to keep it from burning. Continue cooking until it becomes thick and saucy. I'm gonna turn down the heat. Cause it's looking pretty saucy now. Dun da da da! This is what it looks like. I think it's done. Let's see if I can plate this nicely. Wow. I want to make it look fancy. And here's what it looks like. Okay, let's try it. Wow, it has a lot of flavor. The black pepper is really nice. And the miso definitely does add an umami taste to it. Mm. This is so good. The pasta is creamy and has a slight kick of heat from the black pepper. Overall, that was super delicious, and I'm definitely gonna make this again. I've never had a pasta like this before. And I guess that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have Momofuku noodles at home, the soy and scallion flavor, try out this recipe and see if you like it. It was super fast and simple to make, and it only took a few ingredients. I think those are my favorite recipes, the ones that have a few ingredients and like they're super fast to make. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!